Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Angela. I upload every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to help you achieve your weight loss goals, have fast weight loss, extreme weight loss, and live the life of your dreams. I do Bright Line Eating. If you're new to my channel, that's the program where I swear by. You have, you know, no sugar, no flour, which I know sounds restrictive, but what's really restrictive to me is living obese as I was. So I'm down more than 50 pounds. I'm down 55 pounds actually, and I just always pre preach and promote the benefits of this program. Today, I wanted to do a video that actually stemmed from the YouTube Live that I just did a few minutes ago, and I will have it linked up here if you're watching this in post, you know, post-production, if you will. I love how there's like a fly swatter hanging behind my head. I need to find a new spot for that because I totally go live here all the time. And I'm sorry I look rough. I literally just rolled out of bed. So today we're talking about the different milk options for your protein. I wanted to talk about this because I've learned a lot through my experiences of drinking these as my protein option for breakfast. I tend to not do milk the rest of the day, but for breakfast, I like milk. And, um, you know, I'll put it in my oatmeal. When I was new, I did a lot of oatmeal. Um, now I did, uh, I just did my YouTube live video about my breakfast cereal, which is three ingredients. And I will also go back and link that up here for you to watch. And then, um, actually I think I already linked it. So double link, sorry about that. But I wanted to talk to you about the different milks and what I recommend and why. So I want to talk about, I want to talk about plant-based milk because I don't know if you've ever watched any of those documentaries that talk about the dairy industry, but y'all, they're troubling. And in addition to the factor of animal suffering, I definitely think that dairy is inflammatory. Like research shows that there, are, you know, there's inflammation whenever you have dairy products. Having said that to you, I do dairy. Like I do dairy like every day. So it's one of those things where I'm like, I am aware. <laughs> I'm aware of the negative health effects, but I'm like, ooh, I just like it. And I am trying to do more vegetarian. That's me personally. You don't have to adopt my principle. I support you if you're a full carnivore, you know, you eat a lot of dairy or you eat a lot of meat. You do you, boo, and I support you and do not judge you at all. For me, I find I lose weight faster whenever I do vegetarian, and I also find I lose weight fastest. Like the fastest weight loss for me happens if I do vegan bright line eating. There's something about like, you know, the, the something about like beans as the protein or like hummus over a salad. Like I need to do another bright line eating video where it's like I show, cause I've had days like once a week, I'll have a day where I'm just like a hundred percent vegan and it's not intentional. It's just what's convenient because truth is I just open a can of beans and weigh out six ounces and I'm good versus at dinner. I'll do like, I'll dump four ounces of hummus on a salad and I'm good. You know, it's so fast. I lose weight faster. I think on those days. Anyway, back to the milk. These two are plant-based options. Califia Farms, coconut almond. I love the flavor of this. Keto milk is new to me. I got this at Sprouts. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna be honest, this is brand new. But I wanna talk about the amounts of protein in these versus a regular cow's milk. I do prefer organic. Again, personal preference, I think it's better for you. You know, less contaminants in it. There's some stuff in some cow's milk, y'all. There's like cow pus. Ooh, I don't even wanna talk about it, but just go educate yourself. This video is not about that. I kind of touched on it and then I'm gonna dip off of it. So here's the problem with these two as your breakfast protein. They don't have enough protein, if you ask me. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a registered dietitian, I'm not a doctor, but what I do know is how to read a label. And these both have only one gram of protein. It's not enough. I did this one day as my breakfast protein in my cereal, and it was like eight ounces of this. It's 45 calories for a cup, 45 calories for eight ounces. That's not enough. I know on Bright Lane Eating, we don't count calories. We don't count macros or any of the, you know, nutritional makeup of, you know, whatever, protein grams, carbohydrates grams. But what I do know is my satiety level. And I'm going to tell you that this ain't enough for you. I, may, I shouldn't say this one because I haven't tried it yet, but this ain't enough for you. For breakfast do you hear me this ain't enough you're gonna starve because i was starving and i don't exercise or anything this eight ounces of cow's milk has eight grams of protein and i'm full and it's 170 calories for a cup versus 45 or 70 calories for these so i definitely think there's something to you know the protein thing there's also someone who had commented on a video and i haven't read this book yet but i need to read the book called the leptin diet and that person commented on one of my videos and said i read the book the leptin diet and because of that and she does bright light eating she's like because of reading the leptin diet book i now do a good protein option in the morning like eggs and that 
helps her stay fuller longer. And I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. I do want to give you an option if you do, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you just, or you want to do plant-based milk for whatever reason, uh, like me, you just think it's good options, um, sustainable and all that good stuff. You can do a split protein and Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson has talked about this and I put it in the description box below. You can do a half protein, like split your protein and do like half plant-based milk, like a half cup and then one ounce of nuts because a half a cup of plant-based milk is half your protein serving and one ounce of nuts is half a protein serving because a full protein that's nuts is two ounces and a full cup of milk is you know, full protein. So that's an option that Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson, the founder of Brightline Eating recommends because she was plant-based for, I think a few years and now she's mostly plant-based, but she said that is a good balanced protein option when you split the plant-based milk with a nut because she's like the nut is a heavy protein option and the plant-based milk is a light protein option. So I do think that's good. I've done that before and it's good. It's better than just, you know, eight ounces of this for breakfast. So I wanted to come on and talk about this. I also want to give a shout out to Ripple Unsweetened Vanilla Milk because I think that is a really good milk that has a sufficient amount of protein to keep you full. It's eight grams of protein, I believe, for a cup. And that is um, a pea protein. So it's a plant-based protein. The milk is fully plant-based. So I wanted to do this video because I had learned that lesson and ironically, I learned that lesson whenever I filmed the video, what I eat in a day to lose weight on Brightly Eating. And I was like, what a terrible day for me to film because this is not a normal day. I kept repeating that at the beginning of the video, which I will have linked up here for you. I kept repeating to myself, like, this is not a normal day for me because my breakfast was a little bit different and I'm starving. So lesson learned and that's why I have my YouTube channel so I can come on here and share my lessons learned with you so you don't make the same mistakes that I have made. You don't need to be hungry like I was hungry that day. All right, I hope this is enough information to help you and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hit that subscribe button. Bye.